Hey everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video where today we are starting it in our house which I roofed. Uh, I gave it a roof in between episodes uh, and I also made this little farm. But we are back as an Enderman and we are actually are an Enderman today. I, uh, I made myself a special skin for the series and it is made to, uh, to go with the Migrator cape and I just found the armor and was like, yes. I need to do this, <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's not the only thing that I did in between episodes, as I promised, uh, in the end of last episode, if we just head down here, and head into the Underdark, you will see that I have uncovered a cave, not too far down from where we started, and this... This is the reason why I was excited about this. You can see I actually already explored around a bit. I placed down a few torches. But, yeah. The, this this cave, I don't have my render distance up. Because while I'm recording, if I have my render distance up, my computer just slows to a stop. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is a really massive cave. It goes on for ages. And not only that, but... Uh, there is diamonds down there. You, I don't think you can see them. Actually, no, you definitely can't see them from here. Maybe if I zoom in. Yeah, you can see, like, around there, there are a couple diamonds. Uh, some emeralds, gold. All of that good stuff that you definitely want when you don't even have iron armor yet. So, first things first, let's head down there. Grab ourselves some diamonds and actually get rolling on this episode. Honestly, this teleportability is the most useful thing ever when climbing down a mountain, or climbing up a mountain for that matter. It's just, it makes it so much simpler. And boom, our first diamonds. Found in the Underdark. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh. Oh, I do, yeah, I do have iron armor. I just said that I don't have any iron armor because when I looked at myself, I didn't think that I did, but. I do. It. I just took it off. Okay, that's two. I don't know what that explosion was before, but I am now scared of any ores that I open. Oh, it was just a regular creeper, that's why. <laughs> yeah. Here I was thinking that it was some crazy feature that made ores explode. I'm still, I'm still keeping away from the ores, but... Oh, wow. No! Why are there so many creepers? I know I'm not lighting up the area, but come on. I did not deserve this. Okay, I, do, I don't have any food. I do have food. We're good. Ah! Oh my goodness, where did that diamond go? There we go. Uh, so we have four diamonds. I, I kind of want to just stay down here for a little bit. And hopefully in the next clip, I will have full diamond armor and diamond tools from just running around around here. But, that that's thinking hopefully. Hello sir, looks like, oh you're a lost miner? I see that you have some diamonds there. Uh, do you want to hand them over? No? Well I mean, I, I'm sorry bud, but if you don't want to hand them over. If you don't want to hand them over bud. Oh, <laughs> find a lost miner and then punch them for some reason. I I didn't I didn't get the diamond. I feel just slightly bad now, you know. You you know when you do something and then just immediately regret it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. So as we walk up on this uh, on this gas cloud, you may be asking, what the heck is it? Is this? And uh, ah. Okay, um, I was also asking what the heck is that. Apparently that's a toxic gas cloud. Good to know I won't walk into toxic gas clouds anymore. You know, they, you think that they would teach you about this stuff when you were, you know, like a small child or something. But no, no, they don't. They, they really don't. Okay, um. I'm gonna head over back to that toxic gas cloud and not walk into it this time. 
but get the diamond that was sitting right next to it that I decided not to gather before walking into, you know, the toxic gas cloud that was sitting right there. I think I an I angered my brother. Sorry, buddy, but it's, it's just not happening. Oh, wait, where did he go? He's still down there. Um. Hello. Where are you? Ah, right there. Nope. I got the end of Pearl. Spoils of war against my fellow Enderman. You know, what if I just got unlucky? I, I didn't just get unlucky. That, that didn't drop anything before the creeper blew up. The nothingness that that pillager dropped. Hey, look. There's another one. I wonder what this one does. I, I bet it's different from the last one. I should walk into it. I died from a creeper again, but I'm not mad about it because I have diamond stuff. <laughs> Look at this. I I had 24 diamonds by the time I got back, and I have one to spare, plus all this diamond stuff. So I'm having a great time. Time to go back there and get more diamonds to finish off this set and maybe get enchantments. The cavern in the, uh, in the Underdark is so big that I can see the sun. It has its own sun in it. It's not that the blocks just haven't rendered, rendered. no, it's it, it has a sun. I'm racking up the deaths in this dimension. I think it's time to go home and, uh, you know, never return. Uh, <laughs> next thing that we should probably do is get ourselves some lava so that we can uh, get some obsidian so that we can get a enchantment table so that we can get enchantments so that I'm not poor and then... I can, I don't know, do something else, <laughs> but to find lava, we kind of need to go down low, which is good because I have just realized that I shouldn't be going out here to find a cave. I should just be going, you know, down to the area where I have a spot right down uh, by Y11, or not Y11, Y-56, where I can mine for a cave, so... My cat has just walked into the room again. Oh my goodness. Why do you always want to uh, mess up my recordings? Come on, cat. I died again, so I decided to uh, not go for uh, not go for any more diamonds and then just uh, get some obsidian so that I can make myself an enchantment table. Look at how far I've gone. I, found, I haven't found any form of cave, but I found diamonds, so I guess I'll take it. Is there any more, or is it just... Yeah, I, ju I just found a single di- Oh, no, I found two diamonds. How how nice, how lovely. Um, that, that's a cool surprise, I guess. Diamonds, yeah. Yeah, I, I need a lot of diamonds still. Hey, we have lava, and I've just now realized that I'm not carrying any water on me, which probably isn't smart. I mean, it is smart, because I'm an Enderman, and if I, you know, touch water, I die. But, uh, it isn't smart, because I still need water to do, like, a lot of things. It's kind of like a staple in Minecraft. You, you need it a lot. More diamonds. Uh, you know, last time I found diamonds, I found what I wanted almost immediately. So I think this is a sign that there's water nearby. Ah, that's not what I need. More diamonds. Still no water. I fell into lava, so, uh, I mean, at least, at least we have our water now. We can, <laughs> we can go and get that obsidian. Alright, time to sit here for 20 minutes. Okay, so we have ourselves our obsidian, and we're, we're ready to get ourselves the enchantment table. A and go to the nether, actually. I forgot about that. We actually have enough obsidian. I grabbed enough to go to the nether, but... We don't want to do that yet. I don't want to lose anything. Actually, I can't lose anything. I have to keep inventory on. But, I want enchantments. I, I need enchantments, really. Like, there's no way that I'm actually going to survive some of the dimensions without enchantments. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up. Or, I guess that that would be technically looking down. We're, we're going up. Behind my head... All the way up to the dimension known as the Feywild. And the Feywild, not only does it have massive lapis veins, but just being there gives you XP. And on top of that, this is both an upside and a downside, it is 
the most hostile place that you will ever see. Because it is always dusk, mobs always spawn, so yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare place, so we need a lot of torches to light it up, and then, of course, once we get enchantments, it'll be even easier. But first, we'll actually get our enchantment table set up. Leather, we got paper, we got books, and we got diamonds, we got the enchanter. Ooh, look at that. Looks absolutely amazing, absolutely flowing with its magical properties. First things first, sword knockback in sharpness. Alright, uh, we won't actually be able to uh, set this up properly, but I think it deserves at least a little bit of a platform until we, uh, until we get a good place for it. And boom. And this platform has enough space to hold all the bookshelves that we need, so... Yeah, that is going to be our enchantment setup. But, next thing, we need to get obsidian and a uh, flint and steel. Do I have a flint and steel? I do have flint and steel. I don't have a specific flint and steel, though. There we go. And, should we make another platform for this? Maybe, like, over there? Yeah, let's do that. Or let's not do that, because the better idea would be to make it out of nether blocks. So, let's just... Uh, we can improvise with some cobbled deep slate, and then, oh boy, this is gonna be annoying. Uh, I don't think I have anything special for, um, for the nether, so it should just be the same as always, but we'll see. Yep, this looks normal. Uh, only thing is, is that my render distance is too low, so I can't see anything, and there's nether fog everywhere. And I have no health or hunger, so, I mean, hopefully we can find the warp forest biome, because that's the only thing that I need, and then I'm getting out of here. Oh, jeez, okay, 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 okay. You know, I was hoping to have a cool moment, but no, I, I fireball myself. So I didn't go far in the nether, but I do still need that stuff. I, I still need uh, the um, warped forest biome so that I can get the weeping vines. Or is it the weeping vines? I think it's the weeping vines. Uh, so I, I need the weeping vines, which means that I need the warped forest, which means that I need to explore a little bit, which means that I need food to explore a little bit, which means that it's time to build a berry farm. And now that I'm going with this little platform idea that I thought up, uh, I think that from here to, would there, would there be a nice place? And then we can have like a path going down the mountain. Yeah, I think that'd be, I think that'd be nice. So this is going to be a six by six berry farm and it's going to be raised maybe one block up above. All right, final piece to make this look nice. And that grass block will spread everywhere so that we have a nice grassy platform. Uh, the way that I'm going to do this, I think, is going to be in stripes. But the thing is, do we go for stripes like this? Where we have it, uh, I guess this would be horizontal and then vertical, let's call it that. So do we want horizontal or vertical stripes? Because, I mean, they're, they're both decently equal. Or, not decently, they are equal, but it's just about accessibility. Because am I going to be going onto this berry farm by like, you know, hopping up like that, or am I going to be hopping up like this? I feel like if we have our pathway here, and we also have stuff on this side, then we might want to do it like that, just because, you know, that would be uh, the easier way to get here from the other platforms. Obviously, if we're going from that platform to this platform, though, we could probably just jump, make a leap of faith over to the berry. Ah, yes, do 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 doing some enchanting. Alright, need some berries. What is the angle that this grass has grown at? <laughs> it decided to be some geometry, some geometry uh, grass, you know, growing at a exact 90 degree angle to where it started. Oh, there's the berries. <laughs> I, I don't know why this just, it entertains me in the weirdest way possible. My berries won't grow and I think it's because I'm, I'm watching them. I, maybe if I just... Don't worry, I, I'm not- I'm not watching you. I've, I- I'm not. 
I'm not watching you. Come on, you can grow. You can grow. I'm not watching you. Come on, berries. You can grow now. Give me some more sweet berries. This really is just the equivalent of uh, of watching paint dry, isn't it? I'm just sitting here watching my berries grow. Honestly, that, that should be the phrase. Watching berries grow is probably more, uh, more annoying than watching paint dry. It takes longer. Like, in real life, it takes longer for a berry to grow than paint to dry. Paint drying takes a day. Berries growing takes, like, a year. No lie, I would probably rather be playing, like, getting over it. Or like Pogo Stuck or something. One of those crazy, like, really hard games that that are made to frustrate you. And I would be having a better time than I'm having right now. I have six sweet berries, eight hunger bars, nine, uh, 19 health points, and a dree. Oh, that, that's cool, uh, I guess. Is that the big, that's the best one. And that's a warped forest. Okay. You know, my luck went from terrible to great. I'm having a good time now. And boom. Oh. And boom. And boom. 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 Yeah, there we go. We got one. A twisting vine. It's not a weeping vine. Alright. Now time to head back. Teleportation is so useful. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is high enough that I'm almost at the Underdark. That's cool. Yeah, if I, uh, if I go up really high in the nether, then I get transported to the Underdark. Oh man. You know what? That, that's something that we'll definitely pre play around, play around with. We won't need, <laughs> we won't need the, uh, the Underdark thing anymore. We can just go through the nether and then go up. I've completely given up on using twisting vines as my, uh, as my method to get up. Instead, we're using ladders. Honestly, that is my absolute favorite data pack, you know, or at least one of my favorites, but I love it. Look at that. And then if we do this. Oh, it lagged, but we now have a ladder all the way down to the bottom without even trying. Okay, maybe it's not all the way down to the bottom, but it's close. It's close. It, A for effort. <laughs> I, I missed. I missed. I, that, look at that ladder. Just look at it. It's massive. Oh my god. Been transported to the Feywild. Okay. Um, we made it. This is the Feywild. Time to go back down though, because no. <laughs> my pillar up into the Feywild. Uh, it is <laughs> not very well supported, but that's fine. Um, one last thing, though, before uh, before I end this video, uh, I added creepers code. Subscribe.